Okay, so let's take a quick look at the new displacement feature that now ships in with Keyshot 8. So we're going to move away from this car for now. And if I jump over here, you notice that we now have, if I turn off this, we now have uh, this geometry sitting here in our scene. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click this object and I'm going to open the material graph and let's start playing with the new displacement tool so first things first is i'm going to right click come over to this part where we have geometry and add displace now this uh node would simply have to go to this part where i have the geometry and i'll need to get either an alpha or texture or something that is actually black and white because the displacement that is supported now in in Keyshot is a linear displacement which is mostly like a 2D displacement so I can go ahead and drag this texture right in and I can plug this texture here now once I plug this texture here uh, the, uh, what is left for me to do is I think I should just bring this down to about 3 and press enter next thing I will do is just hit this button called execute geometry nodes so once i hit execute ge geometry nodes keyshot will go ahead and generate the displacement for me and you can see it here that we have this displacement done i'm going to uh, go over to this other object and let's use this other object as well to look at it for the purposes of this demonstration i will go ahead and also change the color of this object so that we can see something quite different okay so we can see something quite different i'm actually looking for a color that will not be so harsh in the eyes okay i think an ash this ash could be nice good so next thing i'll come back here just go over to the geometry add the displacement drag and drop towards the geometry and i can find a nice uh, geometry to add so let's just go through and see if we can find something quite nice i think this is not bad so we can drop this here and also go ahead and link this here just like we did the previous time all we have to do is just make sure that we have the perfect size so i, would, I think three works for us now because it wasn't so bad for this initial reference which we did so i'm going to go over and also hit the execute geometry and with this you can automatically see that this geometry will be translated to something like this if you have issues of let's say trying to make this geometry invert say you want this part to be inverted all you have to do is you can go over and uh, attach an invert node okay so if you want to invert this all you have to do is just simply come over here pick up the utilities say color invert invert this color and let's go ahead and replug this right here now let's try that one more time and we have our object inverted so this is basically how you can play with the displacement tool that ships with key shots uh, 8 and if you have questions about this please drop them in the comment section below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you've not subscribed to this channel please simply subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you get updates next time we upload a new video so far so good guys peace